Hey mamas, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Tenley and today we're talking about Medela versus Spectra. All right, so I got my Medela pump here. Oh, let me just fix my shirt. Tough Mudder, any Tough Mudders out there? Tough Mudder, I'm a Tough Mudder. My husband is, I think, 10 times. 10 times or 11 times he's done Tough Mudder. I've done it once. We're not we're not talking about my shirt. We're talking about pumps. Anyways, so I have the Medela pump in style and I also have the Spectra pump. I use both of them. I use my Medela at night and I use my Spectra in the mornings. So let's talk about the Medela first. So this is what the Medela pump in style. Um, if you haven't seen, I did a video on the Medela Freestyle, the old version of the Freestyle that I have. Um, but this is, we're going to be talking about the pump and style now. I don't use the Medela Freestyle, I use the pump and style. So with the pump and style, it comes with these, you can probably see this is like dried water inside. But anyways, um, cause I wash everything that I get from Medela. <laughs> so... I wash all my pump parts in general. Like when I first got this, I washed this. So this is the Medela connector tubing or just tubing, I guess is what it's called. So you see this little hole here. This just goes inside there. And then on the other end, so you see the other two ends, they're the same ends on both sides. They go into the back part of the Medela connectors I think these are called connectors I can never remember the names of these parts but it just goes into the back tubing there and then your Medela bottles which I love I love Medela's bottles open this and you just screw it on like that and then you have your flange. You can use the Medela flanges or you can use your own flanges if you have the any type of flanges that you prefer and you just put it in there. The tubing for the pump and style, you can obviously double pump. And if you don't want to double pump, you can actually close it off like that. That's how you close it off. So you have a little hole there and then you can single pump on it. So. I use the Medela pump and style. There's so many different names out there. The Medela pump and style at night, like I said, because I love these flanges. Now these actually don't come in my proper size. The smallest size that these come in are 21. And I just love it because of this part. The only thing I don't like about it, which you'll see if I bring it closely, is you see there's a little like yellow on it. This is an old one, which I'm throwing out, but I kept this just to show you this part. Um, so it kind of stains. It stains very e well, not easily, but this one got stained. I've I have other ones that didn't get that haven't gotten stained. I've been using it for a couple months now, but this is the only issue that I have with. But I love this. Like it feels so comfortable on your breast. And with the Medela pump in style, this is what it sounds like. So I'm actually going to use the port for the. Uh, spectra on this just to show you this is not the right cord that comes with it but just to show you to give it some power this is what it sounds like so I think I've mentioned this in my pumping video if you haven't seen um, my pumping video how to pump it gives you step by step how to pump um, tips and tricks to help you with pumping and this will just uh, different pumps have different sounds so I'm just gonna go through what this sounds like so this is pump and style you press your power button and it starts automatically in letdown so that's what your letdown sounds like. And this typically stays in this mode for two minutes. So it'll stay in this mode for two minutes. Once it, um, it'll stay in this mode for two minutes and automatically transition over into expression. But if you want to move over into expression on your own, like you see your milk starts flowing already, you want to move over, you just hit this button here and you hear the difference. That's what it sounds like once you're in um, expression mode. And you can see what it looks like. It's like a, a little arrow, hopefully the focus is, an arrow with a drops. 
And if you want to go back into letdown mode, you just hit this button again. And obviously you can increase or you can decrease. And one thing that I'll mention about this pump, and I'm going to just show you, one thing I mentioned about this pump is when you turn this on, it doesn't start in the lowest level. What I've noticed with the other Medela pumps, the ones that I have at least, which is just a freestyle, is that it started at level three, automatically started at level three. I'm assuming it's the same too. I haven't really counted it, but I'm assuming it starts in level three for this as well. So if I power this on, so you hear how fast it's going, but I can turn it down. So you can hear the difference, turning it back up. Let's shut that off now. So that's what the pump and style sounds like. It is a hospital grade, according to the box and Medela's website, this is a hospital grade pump. I love it. I love the flanges that come with it, like I said. Um, it's not my proper size. One of my nipples is 20, one is the, one is 19. This, the lowest, like I said, this comes with is a 21, but I still use this at night. Like as soon as I take my, my sunflower lecithin, take it an hour before I pump at night. And for those who don't know what this is, go and check out my milk supply video. But I take my sunflower less than an hour before I'm about to pump um, at night. And the idea of this is the sunflower less than at night just helps me completely empty my breast. Because my goal is to remember your breast is not always 100% empty, but you know what I mean. But emptying your my breast as much as possible at night. Um, and then I sleep for five hours, five to six hours, majority of the time is just five hours until I'm ready to pump for my morning pump. And in my, in the morning, I go over to my Spectra pump, Spectra, Spectra, Spectra pump. Now Canadians, because I am a Canadian and I know there's Canadian mamas out here, hence why I have this YouTube channel to help us Canadian moms. The Spectra is not sold in Canada. How I purchased my Spectra was Amazon.com. I went to the American um, Amazon site and I purchased it that way and it got shipped to me. So the Spectra, when I first got it, I really, 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 really wanted to love it. I really wanted to love it. And I just couldn't, I, I was frustrated. I'm like, I, keep, I kept trying and it just wasn't working. And I didn't know what, what I was doing that was wrong. Then I had to remember, it has a learning curve. Now I love my Spectra and I'm an oversupplier. So in the morning I pump and as soon as I'm, I pump, I feed my son again, I'm an oversupplier. So you've probably seen um, pictures of how much I actually get in the morning when I'm pumping. And the fact that I still have milk left over after that to feed my son, it will give you an idea of how much milk I actually produce, but that's besides the point. So now with the Spectra. So the Spectra, this is what it looks like. This is the S2. This is what it looks like. And I'll go over the buttons with you just in a minute. So I just wanted to point out here. So tubing. So this is what the tubing looks like. I have one connected right now and I took off one just to show you how to put it on. So you can single pump with this. So you see it has the hole there. One tube is already on and it's very easy to put on. You just take your tubing like that and you put on there. You just push it on. And that's what it looks like. So they're both on now. Now if you want to do single pumping, you just pull it off and there's this little flap. Uh, that's what I guess you can call it. There's a flap there. Hopefully it's focused and you can see it. And you just take that and you just push it on. And then it closes it up and you can single pump that way. So now, so you can hear the sounds of this. I'm just going to take off both tubing and we're going to turn this on. So first of all, it has a little cup holder on the back. Well, I can call it a cup holder, but you can put anything in there. Um, I've seen like videos of people who put like snacks inside here. Obviously you put it in a little container. Well, I would put it in a container and then put it into the back of this. Um, 
water bottles, you know, lip balm, whatever you want. You have a holder in the back. It has a handle. It's not heavy. It's not terribly heavy. Um, I don't mind it. I know moms who have pumped with this in the car. Well, I don't personally know them. I've seen videos of moms who have pumped with this in the car. They have their pumping bags and they put it in there. Um, but let's get to how this works. So this has a light. You can see it turns on there. You can make it even brighter if you want to. This is key for those moms who do middle of the night pumping or early in the morning when you're pumping. Now let's power this on. So we're going to go through all the settings on here. So this is your power button. This is your let down and expression. So alternating between let down and expression. And then this is your cycle. So for it to go faster or, or sorry, this is your suction on here is called your vacuum. So stronger suction or a lower suction, which is very similar to the up and down on the pumping style. Like you saw the plus and minus on the pumping style, the, the vacuum, right? But what's good with this Spectra is it has different um, cycles. So you'll see the numbers on there and different cycles. I'll explain. You'll hear the difference in a moment. So let's power this thing on. So with this, it actually starts in expression mode. You, as soon as you turn this on, you want to hit this button to go into letdown. You hear the difference? So that's your letdown, right? And it's automatically at 70. So that's your cycle that it's on. And here is your vacuum. So you can change it, make it stronger and turn it down. So you can hear the difference there, right? Now going back into expression mode. So the best way to describe the cycles is the number of sucks. If you think of a baby sucking on your breast, the number of sucks per minute, I guess so you can put that. That's the best way for me to describe it. Oh, that's cool. You can see my lips talking through here. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, if I want to, so the same thing, the vacuum in making it, you can hear that. That's all the way up to 12. This goes from one to 12. So let's just turn that down for a second. But here's a cycle. So you can see the different numbers. So if I go down, that is 50. Sorry, I can't see up back, um, upside down. So that's 50, 46. So let's turn it down all the way to 38. So you hear that's a longer suck, right? A longer suck. Like if you think of a baby sucking on your breath, it's a longer suck. But now if I turn all the way up, it's a quick suck. So you can, you know what, you have to play with this just to see what works best for your body. And you can all even alternate it through your pumping session. Like you don't always have to stay in a 38. You can always go up, up and down whenever you want. And then obviously again, your vacuum of how strong you want it and turning it all the way down. So that's how this works. The Spectra works. Now let's talk about the parts that come with it. So this is a typical Spectra flange. It comes all together. Unlike the Medela pump and style. Now this one, if you look closely, this is actually from May mom. If you don't know who they are, check out my flange video. Flange size is very important. So May Mom has the Spectra flanges. So I had to order this from them because Spectra doesn't have my size. Like I said, one of my breasts, one of my nipples is smaller than the other. So I use two different sizes for them. Now, how does this work? And it comes with a backflow protector. Taking this apart to show you how this looks. So three parts and this this is smaller than this one so it's very easy to kind of determine what goes where so this part just goes on here and you kind of just clip it on around sorry if you hear my son in the background and then you have the bigger one and you just clip it on there right perfect I know the sun is going down a little bit so there may be a little bit of glare 
And then to pull this apart, because I know there were some questions of how, if you look there, there's this little piece here that hangs off the bigger one and actually says, I don't know if you can see it. I don't think so, but it actually says open. So you kind of just pull it apart there and that's how you get it open. So how does this fit? This, this part is a little bit thicker than this part is. So you can see that's a little bit thinner. So the thicker part actually goes onto the back here and they say to screw it on. Sorry, I hear my husband now. You're gonna screw this on and then the tubing goes on to the back part of that. Just like so. And obviously the other end will be connected to your pump that I showed you earlier. And then I use, I actually don't like the Spectra bottles. They're not my favorite, but I use the event, the Philips event bottles. And this is what my son actually feeds out of. So when he does get a bottle before I even go there, important, important, these duck valves, I think that's what they're called duck valves. This goes onto the bottom here. If you don't have these on, there will be no milk coming out of your breast. There is no suction. There's nothing that will be coming out. So these are very important to make sure they're on. And this is what they look like. And you always have to make sure that they're, that it's sealed, like completely flat against, like flat like that. Sometimes when you're washing or if they're needs to be replaced, you may see a little opening there and it won't have um, strong enough suction to ensure that your milk is coming out properly. So this just gets connected to here just like that. And that's what that looks like. Obviously the Spectra has a lot more parts than the Medela pump and style does, but I still love this. And then you just twist on your bottle. And I mentioned this in another video, so I'm going to talk about it now. I believe I got this from May mom too. I'm sure they have it. If it's not from them, I'll link these stuff down below so you can get access to these. But this is a connector for your flange to help decrease the size um, of the bottle that you can use because the Medela bottles, as you can see, the opening is a lot smaller. So if I want to use my Medela bottles, I just put this connector on and then I put screw in my bottle just like so, just like so. And I can pump in my bottle. My overall opinion on both thumbs is that I love both of them. That's all I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> they are my favorite pumps and I actually like I said in uh, my pumping videos for those who did listen to it I have another pump that I use the Amita Maya Joy which is my traveling pump so I will do a review on that um, and what do you what I mean by a traveling pump I'll explain that later too that's it hopefully you guys enjoy this video if there is anything else that you want to know regarding these two pumps leave comments down below i'll be happy to address them and if there's anything specifically that you want to hear about i can do a video just for you mamas and papas and godparents and grandparents whatever you want to know about motherhood pumping breast milk not just breast breast milk in regards to your babies let me know Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Have a good one. Bye, mamas.